Bien. Se escucha así. Ahí, yo también escucho. No, sí, se ve una se ve una postada. Hola, buenos días. ¿Se me escucha? Sí, Hola, ¿me escuchan? Hola, buenos días. Ah, es una prueba. Pero no está hablando ahora. Yo no escucho nada. Hello, we are testing the sound. Good day. We are about to start 
the connection of Mure 1.6, co-creation. We will present today's schedule that you're watching it on screen right now. We are testing English Channel. We are checking the, the sound from the English Channel. You can see on screen the schedule. I keep talking while you test the sound. Thank you, Julio, for the feedback. Eduardo, I don't know if you could see Julio's message for English. I keep talking through the English channel. I keep talking through the English channel. <laughs> we are preparing the room. We are about to start.
Good morning to you all, to you all in Latin America. Good afternoon for those of you who are in Europe. This is the schedule of Moody's 1.6 network co-creation. These are some of the proposals, the creation proposals we have for today. And at the end, we're going to have some exchange with the different rooms. And with the proposals coming from the audience. Today, we have with us our mural COSO, that is Collective and Sonaros, Laura Andrada, Megan Dos Santos, Agustin Estol, Ivan Ibáñez, Johansson, and Claudia Marquez will be in charge of these presentations. They will tell us about the co-creation process and at the same time they will invite the rooms interested to take part in the process. The second presentation by Luciano Lopez, Patricia Garrido, Florencia Pires, Araceli Nicolini, Narela Galvan, Mayra Rodriguez and Virginia Álvarez will be about they would be presenting a problem to solve something we can play with here in the rooms and also with the online rooms sharing the activity with us then we have another project these are uh, those aspects related to heritage and we are talking about tangible and intangible territories and that will be by professor liliana fracasso from colombia to finish, we have a proposal, Body Mure, and this is a body painting performance by Paloma González Elguera. So the last part of the title of the activity is Sand, and she will be telling us about the co-creation process. So from now on, and after going through the schedule for today's session, and the exchange activity that will take place at the end. Let's start then with this mure, that is the one before the last one, and then to finish the process. So now let's see mure's clip, and then we move on with mure coso. Go ahead, uh, Mural Coso, with your proposal. We would like to greet you. Good afternoon, good evening. We are a student from IPA, from Visual Communication. And we had this proposal of a mural that is collective and sonorous and we tr are going to bring all the rooms together by digital means. We uh, present a uh, design that is made of uh, uh, collectively. We were inspired in order to create this project. Uh, this artist, because this is the first artist that suffers acromatosia, that is a 
condition, a uh, visual condition that uh, pre prevents him from seeing color. So he had this idea of uh, listening to sound. And in order to do this, he scans the different surface of the colors. And uh, from that, he developed an, an app uh, for, for smartphones uh, for, for the, that pro purpose, to scan the surface of colors and then transform it uh, in sound. For Mural Coso, we are going to use uh, sold cord colors in order to create a melody, an harmonic melody. Here we have a piano note and uh, the scale of colors that refers to uh, each chord. For our project, we choose this scale And here you can see the colors that are going to appear on the mural. The colors have to be plain in order for the easy reading. For each room that participated in this project, we will have a file in order for you to print the mural. On the screen we can see the um, a sonorous painting. In this case, we can see a design that we made that tries to represent a bird, an ostrich, from America. With that, we can also find in a Uruguayan currency, in coins. And here on the tail, we can see an armadillo that are a protected species in our country. Also, uh, these animals is a protected species. Furthermore, we can see uh, mate, that is a cultural drink of our country. This one represents the canvas that uh, now is going to be digital. And this canvas includes uh, the design that we have just seen. And the rest is a uh, canvas uh, available uh, for the rooms to participate and create with us. Af after the session, uh, we will be here for Q&A and any clarification that uh, you would like. Thank you very much, Cosm Mural. I'm sure that we are going to expand on this interest, interesting project. Uh, we know that we have rooms from Colombia, from Spain, that are going to take part of the Muralcoso project. So we invite uh, all rooms to take part and to propose different possibilities. The group is uh, doing some preparations And now uh, we can see uh, the video of 
the next proposal. Uh, after a visit that we took to the MAPI Museum of Pre-Columbine uh, Arts, uh, we saw an exposition of different masks. And we are based our project in Moore uh, session one and three. In the first one, Veronica Mar Marquez uh, talked about identity and how without identity we don't have community. On the third Moore session, uh, session uh, Bernardo told us about uh, Mapuche, Mapuche culture uh, by their exposition of Marx. So in this project, we are going to work on this uh, concept. Identity, culture, tradition, and machines are the things that we uh, incorporated in our masks. Good morning to you all. We are students from the second year of visual communication in Montevideo, Uruguay. Our project is named Identity. Today, we're go you're going to be able to observe our works that are within these boxes. Please tell us in which order do you want us to discover, to open these boxes. We remind you that we sent you an email with the subject that we're going to comment now. In, so, in the invitation, we, we invite you to search pictures of masks that represent the culture, the identity, tradition, and, and you can the, why you chose it, why it identifies you, and the material that we get through the email from Anisha Cultural. In next Mure, October 5, we're going to make a video with the images. You, you can talk a little bit uh, about the themes briefly. Uh, everyone is seeing you, so you, but we'd like to reinforce the names that you chose. We don't know what's inside those boxes, but we're going to discover it at the end. With the names, we can identify the, the rooms. Each room can, can be identified with the name of these boxes. Knowledge, society, machines, own path, cosmos, identity, community, ancestral knowledge. There are five, seven, and with each of them, we, can, uh, we represent each of the mure that we have been part of. And you have to discard each of the of the fields of these boxes. Thank you very much for the, to the identity, represent identity group. We are going to show a video that introduces the project Lo Patrimoniable from Colombia. So we're going to first watch the video and Liliana, you can activate your microphone so you can do your invitation. What is heritage for you? Most of the communities 
are a patrimonial aspect. In August 2015, the School of Art of the University of Bogota began an investigation of what is heritage. They wanted to start a heritage, heritageable network. We work in some pilot places, in slums, and in communities uh, near the metropolitan area of Bogota. This project is called Lugando. This documentary was produced as an elementary part of the project. These places had fast uh, transformation processes. And our question is why young people want to do art in their neighborhoods. They want to create needs in the, in the habitants of that place. The need to be conscious about art and to generate specific utopies. This project is ongoing, and they include uh, participation in the art of that community. There is a difference in the herit concept of her heritable and the heritable communities. What is this, and what is and what is uh, is it based in? Heritage is to con uh, construct in order to the wellness of a family. I was born and raised here. And so there were a few community laundry spots that have been here for as long as I can remember. So now we see you in image. Good morning, I hear me. Are you hearing me, Derma? Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with two investigators. David and Irene. What we want to propose. It's a co-creation dynamic based on this project and the idea of heritable. We think heritable is a value present in the reality of the final world. The heritable defends the idea of heritable from the inhabitants to re recognize but the heritable value in every context, depending on how the community understands it. We believe heritable to be a part of the community that inherited it. So we have launched an orientative question. If we do define heritable in the heritable as natural, or cultural that hasn't been amplified. Okay. So the dynamics, the co-creation dynamics that we propose goes in that way. Using Google Earth, 
we want to invite the entire mural community to answer this question. What is heritable for you? And propose the answers using Google Earth. My partner, David, is going to explain to you how to do it. There are some initial conditions to participate. One is to walk around the territory. Second is to make a map about the territory I frequent every day. Three, to get photos and, and data in order to be able to describe it on the map what is heritable. This, the satellite image is going to be like the common image. You can gather the information in the way of text, image, or photography. Now I give the floor to our operator who is going to describe what you have to do to participate in this proposal. Good morning, everyone. The idea of the first is the interaction of the digital tools for the, the entire heritable elements. A process of geo-referencing. <laughs> the idea is to use a satellite image of the territory in which we normally walk around and identify important elements in that territory. What we can do is take photos, take video, and the idea is use those elements, upload them on the web, and to be able to use all those elements in every, everywhere, and not only those territories, to transcend borders. You can send the information in the means of Google Earth archives, and we can gather all those data, upload them on the web so that everyone can consult them with a cell phone. I don't know if you can see it. We can deploy from some dots which make a reference of what is heritable. That blue dot is our, our location right now. What can I do is walk around my territory and see what those points are and get information about them. And get a perspective of them from other people who have gone there. In order to distribute the information about those heritable elements. Okay. We have prepared a tutorial, a short tutorial, which explains step by step how to use the, the app. It has to have text, image, video. It's very agile, it's very clear. And the objective is to generate a sort of narration of the experience that is in the memory and in the senses of the people. And which reflects the way of thinking, the heritable elements and its circumstances. The text that we're going to gather From them will arise the activities and the common elements, common elements. With the help. So thank you very much, Delma. This is our proposal from co-creation, network co-creation. Thank you to all the entire team. We generate the picture heritable. Each of you have the step-by-step -step program of how to incorporate the information. Please remember through email the heritable network and the Anisha Cultural from now to October 5th we're going to be receiving all the elements that you sent to us. 
it's a very interesting proposal and I also think that it can be it can be put together with the other proposals that have emerged in the rest of the rooms in this exchange stage. Now we're going to go to Inet room where Paloma Gonzalez is. <laughs> while, while we see her in the in the screen, we salute the Antonio Nariño and thank them. So so please pay attention to Ines room. So before we go to Paloma Gonzalez Elguera, we're going to see a clip that she will tell us what it is about. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm very happy to be participating in this session. I would like to continue sharing what I like to do and to invite everyone to, to do it as well, to experiment and carry out the ex to experience what it is to paint someone else's body. It's a work of art, but different. In the 60s, these type of practices started to emerge. What you have just seen is what she's wearing in her head. It will be a, a secondary element. This work, I presented it in the body painting, uh, world body painting. Twenty years ago, Uh, I've shared the experience and being able to share that connection with so many people, it's connected with the message I want to convey. To show it in, in a more general way, Take a serious uh, world art. Well, you can see the uh, the the piece is called Utopia. It's education as a as an individual a way of governing yourself in a good way. The piece that I want to present you in Mure Sykes, not seven, 
and October 5th, 5th has to do with the same things I mentioned but working deeply with time. I'm interested in time and education, empathy, all of them based on the body. It's the, the live essence that the way shows. The piece is named Sand. I don't know if I told you, but it's based on in sand as a, as, as a mountain. Because the sand clock, when we turn it, it's the only element that we can see how it, it how time goes pass by. Time stops. Part of that sun that that it's a concept that I'm going to talk in next mode. I don't know what I have left. I I want to invite you to see this this piece and to experiment body painting as a generator of many things generator of a bond maybe between an, an artist with a model with a painting with skin that this generates empathy and the piece talks by itself as an individual. In, in a way, we're, we're talking about that, and individuality, and bond, wanting to, to, OK, uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to talk about it in, on the 5th of November. Thank you so much, Valeoma. Uh, now we're going to go with the exchange part about how we create between ourselves. That's what Palema was talking about, how we co-create, how we share, how we create, and we share it online. Now we're going to open the mics on different rooms. And Norberto Diaz from Itae, Colombia, is telling us that they selected the box of ancestral knowledge. Maybe we can show the room so the students will comment what each box contains. We're waiting for the other rooms by chat, the people in Paisandu, and we're watching. If you want to comment online which box they've chosen, some were already chosen, which are ancient knowledge and path. Go ahead. These are the boxes left, which are cosmos, identity, community, image, machine, machines, and social and knowledge. Paisandu chose 
the identity box. We keep receiving your interests. Now we're going to introduce the path, which was the first box chosen. You can show it. It has a message. You can tell what it's inside. Let us know. This refers to the ch to the path that we've been walking in different moodies. It talks about the receiver and the use of technology. There are different ways to create art, to present it. We're refocusing our idea of the receiver, what was known and what was unknown. How do we how do we incorporate all these new elements into art? We are going with the next box. This box is about ancient knowledge. This mask is uh, related to Mure 1.3, where they represented the Mapuche origins, and they created a mask. We created a mask that's ours, which represents the charruas, and we can see a connection that is not only a blood connection, but also about the feeling of being a charrua. This mask it refers to 1.2. With Veronica Marquez, we did the the flag because it represents ourselves. It also goes back to the idea that there's no identity without community and no community without identity. Which one's left? They chose the box of society and knowledge, the academic network from Mexico. Community. This mask. Uh, refers to Mure 1.3 with the, it reflects the identity of the Uruguayan people. And it's related with Mure 1.4 and to how machines are related to reality and how the artist conveys reality through he 3D work. Could he also choose this? Please choose to, we're going to make an exception for them. This mask refers to 1.1 with the idea of community. We're looking for something that would reflect our, that as a community. 
and it also represents the Uruguayans in summer. Foreigners cannot evade this in any moment. The mate is a beverage that is inherited from indigenous. It's not also in Uruguay. This uh, box is for Colombia. This is for Colombia. This uh, makes reference to Mure 1.4 and machines and how the evolution of society is reflected in the technologies and how the social network can be very revealing and we, how we manifest our emotions. This mask refers to 1.1 with Laura Palavicino, and that's why we're referring to the, to the cosmologist Carl Sagan that refers that the universe is within oneself. We are a path where we have to know each other in order to be part of the universe. We would like to mention an artist from Argentina, Laura Paravencino, and she's going to uh, give us an animation for Mure 1.7. We've been mentioning all the artists which have participated, and at the same time, the students um, started this initiative with the with these masks we would like to remember you that just as we have made this mask to reflect our own identities remember that but also receiving those masks that you consider they identify you and even the way that we did a um, summary you can also do it through mail in order to create mask for Latin America. And that reference, Virginia, will be part of the heritage heritage elements. And it's a very interesting detail to what it is co-creation. Thank you. Now we're going to go. And later, we will see those people from the rooms that want to talk about heritage elements. And we will keep talking about Paloma. And right now, we're putting on hold. Now, any room that wants to interact with the mural? So, if you can open your mic and mention how the rooms uh, can uh, interact and how that is going to be 
integrated to the project. We would like to tell you that uh, Valencia University wants to participate with Amparo Alonso and her students. So at there we have at least one room is going to collaborate. To. It uh, in interactions or uh, can be made by directly creating or sending their creations by mail. Thanks again for this opportunity. And if you have uh, any questions, uh, go ahead. I would like to clarify that one of the possibilities is a drawing by hand and then scan it so we can edit them uh, more easily. Or you can uh, make your own uh, digital drawing. The idea of the editing is to correct uh, the color in order to maintain them in the soul, in the scale, in the musical scale. That is the one that I previously shown. Hello everyone. I salute you from. Can you, Do you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Our interior and design students have, re have inspired their designs in the pre Columbian art of Colombia what our students did was to post some sketches about pre-Columbian cultures for Cosmo Mural. We got the material, thank you very much for your contribution. It's going to be used by the construction of the mural. Also, it will be good to point out that named elements representative of your culture. Everything which is considered by you as important of your culture it's going to be welcome it's good to point out also why that was chosen instead of another type of elements it doesn't necessarily have to be an element in particular or designs any design of any culture can be included and it was a great work from you. So thank you very much. I would like to point out that for each and every one of the rooms that contributes with some element, the Mural Coso group is going to place them and then send them to see if you if you agree on the location of that element. So, so we will agree on what will be 
permanently included in the mural. The mural itself is going to be available for each of the rooms to paint or project it or print it or do whatever they consider as a final product. So thank you very much. I don't know if any of the other rooms want to make another comment because we will then go to heritage table and to the participation of every other room. So we move on to Heritageable, if you don't have any question. Any comments of any room? Either here or the or rooms online, any comment? Ileana, I have a question. Maybe the others have, have it too. You gave the steps on how we can share our locations. But can we send you our pictures, our images, and you could make the uh, geolocation uh, part? We can't hear you. Can you open your mic, please? The idea is to use uh, Google Earth. That's why we made a short tutorial uh, on how to op upload uh, the pictures and uh, tag them on the map. You can either send pictures or upload um, text and then you stick it uh, in the map, you in, point it in the map. Uh, because the work done on Google Earth can be filed, um, that is uh, with a, spe a specific extension, KMD, and then you send us the file almost done. And then we are going to make a selection and in order for everyone to see what everyone tagged on the map. In order for spreading and to making visible uh, what's uh, heritage, uh, that would be the way. I don't know if you have any question about this process. Thank you. Apparently we have no questions. From Paysandu, Uruguay, they say that this uh, everything crystal clear and that it's a very interesting proposal. So in this week we will be in touch in order to organize everything here. I don't know. Yes, I have one question. I, I'm interested in the mapping. I would like that the group that made the mass, if they can uh, cre create uh, some pictures of those marks, so we can upload those for the Uruguayan presentation, representation. I really liked uh, the Mapuche mask. So if you can place the mask in a feature of your country, in some landmark of your country, and then send us that file, So I don't know if everybody is, um, uh, has knowledge of this Mapuche 
uh, topic, but I went to Chile and I could uh, get to know the culture. So that would be a very interesting topic for me. So in that brief description, you can include the explanation uh, on why the mask has a Mapuche resembles or a style uh, in Uruguay, within Uruguay, because it's not part of their local tribes. And maybe this could lead us to some interesting conclusions on territory and how heritageable things are related to uh, ancestral cultures. We're going to go to the A Tech room. They wanted to make a comment and a proposal. Go, Alex. Good morning, everyone. We're very happy to be invited. To, to actively participate. More than a proposal, I would like to demonstrate the teaching model that we use here in Colombia in the Academic Corporation of Colombia with over 30 years of experience in the automotive sector. What we'd like to do is to link some teachers to give the model that we have, which has been very more for students. In that way, and show the, the skills that they achieve. So we're going to show a short video So we're going to show about being. So when they get to do the work, I have the video on cell phone. Just tell me if you can see or if you cannot see it, then we're going to show it in 1.7. So I'm going to show you if you can see anything. This video shows all the components of the motor of a vehicle. Each, each part in order to create the movement of the vehicle. It's a lot of physics. which they work on, on the student. So I'll show you the video in order. So here you can see how it's formed. And it's related also to Mude 1.4 about machines when it wasn't it was impossible at the time to explain this model of teaching machines and arts. So it also shows the electric mechanism. We also wanted, the idea is to work on these contents regarding the script of Mude 1.7. So we thank you for this brief introduction. And this is something very interesting. When you consider heritage elements regarding education and the community, what you consider valuable. So we think that there's a lot of material to feed other materials. And the next session of Mure will be very interactive with a lot of content. 
there will be a lot of interaction and games and along with all the proposals for co-creation we have confirmed a lot of a lot of teachers regarding art science and technology in an interactive way and co-creation online Alex, we thank you a lot. We also thank Paisandu, the room. The Museum of Barranquilla will also be participating. And there are a lot more that will also co-create the following weeks. If there's no other room that would like to participate or comment, we would be finishing for the day the activity. And closing with it 1.6 to keep working and co-creating together. I don't see any other intervention by chat. Thank you everyone for hearing. And I hope to bring a lot of knowledge for Mude 1.7. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you, all of you. There has been a lot of people who have been participating. So we're closing. We would like to thank the group of the Mural Coso with the portrayable ID, identity, heritageable, Paloma Gonzalez. And we will keep working on all this content to give you a bit of news. Cosmos, through cosmic rays, as well as the masks and art, through other ex expression, visual expressions, performance. We will have the Museum Mode from Bologna in Italy and the University of Valencia in the following session. Thank you, everyone. Let's give a round of applause for everyone. We'll see you next time. One from Mude 1.7.
Your call will be disconnected. Se desconectará la llamada.